All right, guys, uh, this is part three of how to install a hour meter. As you can see, it's all set up here. Uh, the display is hooked up. What we did is, you know, you drill two holes where those two holes are with a one eighth, a one sixteenth drill bit, excuse me. Um, you know, put your drill in there, drill two holes. You got two screws that come with the kit and just screw them in and then your display is attached to your plastic uh, cover of your engine um, you know make sure you, of course you have the wire there's a little slit in the back make sure you put the wire in there real deep use a screwdriver a knife uh, scissors anything that's thin that you can stick it through that slit and then um, you know make sure your wire is short like I said with this hour meter a lot they're all different this one had a lot of extra wire so I had to cut like I said a good foot and a half off of this thing but you want to make sure that it's not too long and not too short either you'd rather have it too long and too short because once you cut it that's it there's no going back so if it's too short you're gonna have issues pretty much the hour meter is worthless if it's not long enough to get to your spark plug wire so you know you don't really want it hanging too low so it's you know coming out and it's can get caught on something or you know it can come loose from the display if it hits something you want it kind of tight but not too tight if you know what I mean um, so just make sure it's a good a good size so you can wrap it around there and like I said here it's so simple if you have a zip tie it's a lot easier but if you don't you know, I just use that little bread wire that came with it you know I wrapped it around used the bread wire just to tighten it so it doesn't really move and it's not going to come off and then if you want to put electrical tape you can do that you don't have to on my Toro 22 inch which I'm going to show you shortly I didn't use electrical tape but um, I decided you know what adds a little extra protection I use the extreme temperature electrical tape and um, you're good to go so like I said, on the uh, Toro all-wheel drive, the hour meter, if you see, see now, this, now this wire was a little too long, so I didn't really want to take it apart and cut the wire to make it short, so this is what I did. I just rigged it up like this. Now, I could easily cut it shorter and uh, did it that way, but I didn't really care, so. But, and then you see I got the wire running along the base of the, uh, the deck, and hooked it up, wrapped it around, got the little bread wire there holding it on and that's it. That's it. It's been up there for a year. No issues. Um, like I said, a zip tie would be good, but I used that little bread wire. Um, I probably am going to put some electrical tape around it, the uh, extreme temperature just for the hell of it, but whatever. Um, yeah, and that's pretty much it. Like I could have went the other way. That's what I'm explaining here. The reason I'm talking over is because my camera sucks and um you know i had no sound on this but it's better this way anyway because you don't want to hear engines running but all right so we're back to display now we're So as you see, it is working. Um, that little battery on the display was blinking, so it does work. Um, you know, that's about it. I mean, if you want to wait here for six minutes and see it go to zero one, um, we could do that, but I'm going to spare you that pain. I'm going to spare you the pain 
I'm just staring at a display. So I'm gonna pause it, and when it hits one, I'll come back. first hours on the old time master now that was six minutes guys six minutes I've I do lawns when I use this mower when I used it last year anyway that took six minutes so you know some people don't realize you know 10 hours on a on a push mower is I mean it's it's a lot of hours that's a lot of lawns because literally, this is 0 0.1, right? There's a couple lawns that literally 5, 6, 10 minutes it takes me to cut. So, you know, when you see someone with 80 hours on a um, push mower or a walk behind, it's a lot. But that's just a little info there from what, you know. Just a little use your mind and something to let your brain um, analyze a little bit. But, you know, when someone's selling a machine that has 30 hours on it, you're like, oh, 30 hours. Now, on a zero turn, totally different. But on a push mower, you know, 30 hours could be a lot. I mean, look at my Toro here. I mean, this thing is beaten to oblivion. I mean... And they got the plastic coming off here in the bottom. You know, this whole handle here is all scraped up. And, you know, the chute over here is all rusted. It actually got rust on it over here. And this thing has 24 hours on it. 25 hours on it. So, and believe me, I beat that thing up. So... You know, when someone comes to buy that thing one day, oh, it has 35 hours on it. They're going to say practically brand new, but that thing's took quite a beating. But anyway, all right, so that's it, man. That's how you do it. Real simple. I mean, it can't be more simple. And now you got a nice hour meter on your machine. You're ready to go. It's out of the way. What I might do is put a little piece of electrical tape right there just to keep it away from the muffler guard here i mean i could leave it it's not going to do anything but better safe than sorry but that's about it catch you on the next one